Hey guys, and welcome to the third episode of Community Features. This ongoing series is designed to showcase the building ideas and concepts of other content creators, as well as the ideas that I've worked on with other members of the building community. In today's video, we're looking at a Rust-based building exploit that I've been working on with Discord user Toadlord66, and this video follows on from the Community Features episode 2, which will be linked below. Just before we get into the video, for any of you interested in joining my Discord, you can find the link below. We're starting to make it more active for sharing ideas and discussing concepts, and we hold regular giveaways like this one. The roof bunker has taken many forms over the years, but has essentially always provided a safe and secure method of sealing your base with a roof piece and blocking access via the doors. Many of these methods were bi-directional, whilst others could only be sealed from the inside or from the outside. Despite many attempts by Facepunch to stop its usage, the conditional roof bunker has been repeatedly and cleverly modified by those within the Rust building community, who seek workarounds to each of their updates. Feel free to check out the Community Features 2 for a more in-depth history of the bunker. The most recent patch on the 7th of January 2021 nerfed the bunker heavily, causing the conditional roof bunker to only open if the opening roof piece was of equal material to the bunker roof piece. This massively increased the cost of using the bunker and meant that it left for too long it would be stuck open. This has led to a new series of workarounds being discussed, most notably within the Easy Building Discord. In a recent video by Evil Versed, which was uploaded to his second channel on the 7th of January 2021, he demonstrated three possible workarounds for this. I recommend that you go and watch the video as well. Whilst all three workarounds are viable, number one is the workaround that we'll be looking into further for this video. I've linked Evil's video below so that you can see more detail. The workaround that Discord user Toadlord66 has come up with is heavily inspired by two other content creators. Firstly, Evilversed and his drop-down unloosable loot room design, which makes use of a small gap via wall stacking. Secondly, Inigo Fentoy's inverse conditional roof bunker technique video, which expands upon the theory in more detail. Toadlord and I jumped into the Sanctuary build server to play around with the ideas and were able to come up with two bases as templates to show the workaround in an operational design. One of which is your standard 2x2 footprint, as it's most likely the most common base whilst the other is a different footprint to show that you can put this into other varying base designs. If we jump into the 2x2 here, you can see that the bunker is open and ready to enter. Once we're inside, if we look up above the bunker mechanism, we can see that the twig wall is holding the bunker open. Remove this and the bunker will close. Replace it and the bunker will open. Be sure to place it on the right floor piece as there's two at similar levels due to the floor stacking. The beauty of the floor stacking here is that it allows you to have all four ceiling tiles present within the 2x2 and still be able to access the bunker mechanism, adding extra strength to the base. It also means that above the bunker mechanism, to top down raid you need to go through two floor tiles rather than one, with the base still being a similar size and a similar cost to a standard 2x2. One of the immediate negatives to using this method is that it does involve floor stacking, something that many avoid due to its difficulty. Again, thanks to the ideas of many within the building community, this is something that you can do with relative ease now, as I demonstrate in the background. Another concern is that the bunker mechanism itself now has to be somewhat larger than it previously was to incorporate the access to the area to open and close the bunker. Fortunately, by floor stacking the base, you effectively double the top-down raid cost with little extra cost to the base, as you'll have two floors in pro close proximity. To summarize, there's been a number of effective and useful workarounds for Face Punch's latest patch. Let me know what you think in the comments, or if you found a better way, I'd love to hear about that too. Thanks again for stopping in, and I'll catch you in the next one.